Bo is expected to miss about eight weeks with a fractured collarbone and won't need surgery. He'll likely be placed on the injured reserve designated to return, according to our Ed Werder. That would mean Romo would not be eligible to practice for six weeks or to play for eight. Romo got hurt in the third quarter of the Cowboys' win over the Eagles on Sunday. Here is our doctor, Mark Addix, on Romo's collarbone injury. I look at this choice in two ways. As a player, I want to be back on the field as fast as I can, and I don't want to be re-injured. As a surgeon, I want the same for my patient. I want to get him back as fast as I can, and I don't want them to get re-injured. This is the clavicle that he hurt in 2010. My concern for him is, one, that he's at a bigger risk for re-injury, and in my experience, and looking at the literature, when you, ha when you return from a clavicle fracture without having surgery, you're looking at two to four weeks longer to return. So if he was going to come back in six to eight with a surgery, you're looking at 10 to 12 without surgery. Romo tweeted the following on Monday. Thank you for all your prayers and support. No surgery needed. We're just getting started, Cowboys Nation. See you soon. Skip, no surgery needed. Mm. Do you have a problem with your team's decision? I'm concerned about it, Stephen A. Dr. Addix is, is exactly right. Who am I to quibble with, with his read on this? He's uh, a longtime pro football player. He's done this surgery many times on many athletes. And that's what the literature, as he said, will tell you. You need to go ahead and have the surgery. You need to go, go ahead and put a little plate over the crack so it will hold it better and that there'll be less chance of you re-breaking the clavicle. Last night, though, I called a, a prominent surgeon I know who's a team doctor for a different team. Okay. And he said he was fascinated by the Cowboys' path that they chose here. He knows all about this and has done this surgery on many pro football players and, and basketball players. And he said, you know what? This tells me the Dallas Cowboys are all in, that they found a much smaller crack than anticipated with, with no other displacement of the bone, no, no other big bone damage, no ligament damage. And they decided, let's go all in because this season is all in for them. Tony Romo is 35 years of age, and they think they have a really, really good team, obviously, if Des Bryant can come back. So what they're thinking is, according to this surgeon from afar, they'll use all the modern medicine breakthroughs that we have at our fingertips now, the PRP shots where you take some of your blood, spin it down, and re-inject it where the injury is to speed the healing, or stem cell shots. You take some of your own stem cells, and you inject them in the injured area to speed the healing. Two issues that you have there that you could use, two, two new breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. And then you, you wait and hope that in five weeks, as opposed to eight or 10 or 12 weeks, that you could, remember, it's his non-throwing shoulder. So it's, you don't have to worry about the right one. It's just the left one. They got all kinds of braces and pads that they could put on the left shoulder. Now, is there a high probability that, that he would re-injure? There is. I'd be the first to tell you. But if you want to try to get Tony Romo back in five weeks, five weeks, maybe six weeks, this is how you go. It is high risk, maybe high reward. I'll be the first to tell you, I don't love this. This is not the safe way, the, the conservative way to go. This is Jerry Jones plunging for oil. That's, that's what he's doing. This, you know, and you hope you don't hit a dry hole here because you, that's, that's exactly what you're doing with Tony Romo, hoping at 35 he can come back and give you, you know, the last whatever games would be left from five games out on and, and hoping because it's not his throwing arm that it'll be okay. I, I'm a little shaky about it, but I love the guts that they're having to, to That's take tough. the risk. Do you take it? You like it, don't you? It doesn't bother me at all. Yep. You know, Skip, it's really, really interesting listening to you, Dr. Bayless. Mm -hmm. You did a fabulous job of dissecting and highlighting. You know, all if I hadn't, things. if I hadn't been this, I would have been that. Really? A doctor? Yeah, a doctor? I would have been a surgeon. In all seriousness, orthopedic that's, surgeon. That's really interesting huh. because had I not do, uh, had I not been doing I this know. in this profession, I would have been a criminal lawyer. Oh, I was oh. Gonna say lawyer. Guys on, I didn't know guys criminal. Honest, true. I believe. Oh no, no, I, I you could have been, been a lawyer too. I, I say this to this very day. He would have lost to me. But I, I will tell you this, and in all seriousness, I've always said this: there is no way on earth mm -hmm. that Johnny Cochran, God rest his soul, would have beat me in that OJ trial. I would have won that case. I don't know what Christopher Darden and Marsha Clark was thinking. They couldn't have messed with me. Johnny, Johnny Cochran would have lost that case to me. I can promise you that. Mm. With all that evidence, please. Now, back to reality. 
Here's the deal. Thank you for that side note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have been great. <laughs> Defense attorney, I mean, prosecutor, mm -hmm. yes. Skip Bayless, what I find funny and comical about your position with Tony Romo is that you seem so nervous. I you am. Know, you know, and, and, and then I, you know, Dez with the foot, and now Tony Romo with the collarbone, and then I'm just reading an article, and Jason Witten is questionable for this coming week's game because he's got not one but two sprained ankles yeah. and the sprained knee. knee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so, right. so, so Jason Witten, the ultimate safe, safety mm -hmm. net, He's, he's a bit hobbled, to mm -hmm. say the least. So, so I'll bet he'll be so, out so, there. So, 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 so he, he might be out there, but he's not going to be anywhere close to 100%. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's Des Bryant and Tony Romo. So life is just a little bit tough with the Dallas Cowboys right now. I, I'm, I'm very sorry about that. But I will say this. Can't blame you for being worried because these games that Tony Romo presumably will miss got Atlanta, mm -hmm. New Orleans, at New Orleans. Should win that one even though it's on the road. Got New England. You're going to lose that L, one. Yeah. Now you got the Giants. You're on the road at the Giants. Got Seattle at home. Mm -hmm. Got Philadelphia at home. Got Tampa. Now let's play with this because let's surmise okay. that the, that Tony Rome was going to be back. Because that's the, 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 one, two, so three, risk, five. four, five, six, seven. I'm going to throw seven out there. So let's say for the sake of argument, he's back. Three days before, you know, you know, Thanksgiving, November 22nd to be exact, Skip Bayless. They're on the road with Miami. Let's say for example, let's throw that out there. Let's say you want them going and then you want them to be back for the last six games. You got a home game against Carolina. You got two against Washington on, and Green Bay on the road. You got the Jets beat up. You got the Buffalo Bills. They're going to beat them up. You got another game against the Washington Redskins. He's definitely going to get beat up in one of those two Washington Redskins games. That's kind of rivalry that we're talking about here. So, I, I mean, it's like, you're very worried. I can see it in you. Mm -hmm. And that makes me happy. Now, I don't wish any harm to Tony Romo. I want him to get healthy. Not you. You know, me personally, I would prefer that he have the surgery so he could come back fully healthy, you know, a little bit quicker. Yeah. You know, we, we, we want to see Tony Romo out there. You want to beat a team at their best. Absolutely. We don't want people out there. You know, the, my man Ric Flair say, Woo! To beat a man... You've got to beat the man. I understand. But I just noticed. Wait, did you just call the Dallas Cowboys the man? No, no, no. To beat a man, you've got to. Oh, oh. oh. Don't laugh. That's, that's, that's not accurate. It's, he's making it up. No, <laughs> no you were up. saying. You I'm talking about Tony Romo. In other words, if I'm going to beat the Dallas Cowboys, I want Tony that's Romo out there instead of, instead of Brandon Whedon. I don't want Brandon Whedon. Tony Romo is the man compared I thought to Brandon Whedon. I thought we were getting Whedon. on the Whedon you yesterday. You understand what I'm saying? The Whedon. <laughs> so you got to stay is, on the Whedon. This, is, this isn't the Browns. The Whedon, okay? He's got a real stay supporting cast now. All I'm trying to say, Skip, is this. You know, I see the confidence dissipating. Mm -hmm. You have gotten so desperate that you are actually leaning on your medical expertise mm -hmm. to make your point, even though you have no medical education. And that's fine. That's I, fine. I'm I, don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Because all it does is provide me fodder over the next several weeks to have an absolute ball with you, listening to you regurgitate the same, you know, chirping about the same nonsense about the Dallas nonsense? Cowboys. Well, well it is the nonsense. Defending because division champs well, that should have won here's at Green Bay. Here's why it's dead. nonsense. Here's why it's nonsense. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're going to miss at least six weeks. And when you come Maybe back, five. you're going to have those teams that I highlighted waiting for you. I mean this with all my heart. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Well, just remember, I went from... I wish you nothing but the best. I went from Sunday <laughs> evening thinking that he might be gone for the whole year to, wait a minute, there's a scenario out there whereby if all goes well, please God... I want to be clear. He, he's back in five I or six want to, games. I want to be clear. I don't want Tony Romo gone for the year. I definitely want him back. I don't want to see Dallas being led by Brandon Whedon. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I want to see Tony Romo out there. That's what I want to see. I want when the Dallas Cowboys fall, mm -hmm. I don't want y'all to have any excuses. Yeah. I want to, I want Des Bryant back. I want I want Tony Romo back. I want Greg I want Hardy Jason back. back. Randy I want Gregory. Gregory. Randy 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 Gregory.
one there last Whitten year. I mean, I mean yeah. it, it is what he. I he, want Rolando Greg McClain to be in the NFL. But I want Rolando McClain there. I want Randy Gregory there. I wish Rolando You sound like you're you're making a case for a Super Bowl team. I want all of them there because when you lose, I don't want any excuses. I don't want any excuses. Mm -hmm. So I am rooting. I am rooting for Tony Romo to get back as soon as he possibly can. Mm. I'm not sure no surgery is the way to go. I t I'm inclined to believe you might be better off going up in there and surgery. You, you know what? You're probably right. But Jerry Jones is going for broke here or maybe broke in as in Well, I mean, if, they, if the surgery was going to have him back around the same time, if not no, earlier, we, why we, we would have Jerry taken, Jones is probably looking at the division 10, and saying, 10 weeks or go. so. All right, I thought the doctor said it may not have taken that long. No, he said it might take a little bit longer to heal. But what, whatever, look, they could still even today put him on that eight-game list, mm -hmm. you know, where you're eligible to return in eight weeks just to save them from themselves, right. just to shell them and have a roster spot. But so far, they haven't put either Dez or Romo on that eight-game list. So they're, they're hoping one or both might blame, surprise you. Listen, Jerry, you keep hoping. I mean, I, I, my heart went out. To Jerry Jones Sunday, when I saw him, I'm sure. Oh, when I saw him looking like he, it, like his heart stopped, like he was he was just so depressed, he was so down. My heart went out to Jerry. Jo Hold on, Hold mm. on. <sighs> it really did. You're, it really did. You're unreal. What's, I was, what's that I was, soap opera I was, you like? I was General Hospital. Yeah. I was it's so... Wait, you just quit so, crying to say I, General Hospital. I, 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 was, I, don't I was so heartbroken yeah. over Jerry Jones and his yeah. depressive state. I want Jerry Jones to be... Well, I want him there in attendance. I want Stephen Jones there in attendance. I want Tony Romo healthy. I want Des Bryant healthy. I don't want any excuses. Mm -hmm. I don't want any excuses. So I want them to get better, and more importantly than that, more importantly than wanting the Dallas Cowboys have all their horses when they lose. I want Jerry Jones to be okay mm -hmm. up until that point. Yeah. I don't want him. <laughs> I don't He'll want to clean see what his I glasses if he needs it up there in the I would. Box. I would. Mm -hmm. I would do that for Jerry Jones. I want him Stephen okay. Stephen A., on a serious note, do you have friends on the Giants, fellow Giants fan? Only Victor Cruz. Call these people. How come they're not capitalizing on this? Because they're not very good right now. Yeah. They're not very good with the they offensive line. And you not know what I want? And the Eagles. Which we're gonna get I into want next. only you sitting in that same seat wearing cowboy garb for one whole week before my Cowboys play in this coming Super Bowl because it's going to happen. And you see it coming in the back of your mind and you're starting to dread it and you're trying to play it off, but you know deep down it's coming. I will say this to you. Can I say this last point? Can I say this Thank last you. point? I, I'll and wear I mean this with all my skip, heart. Skip I mean, they make I, in it all, all seriousness, in all seriousness, I'm not joking. I mean this with all my heart. Mm -hmm. I want the Cowboys to lose because I'm a New Yorker who's a Cowboy hater. I'll openly confess it because I can't stand Dallas Cowboy fans more so than the team. I can't stand the fans because I love me some Des Bryant. But I will acknowledge this to you. You keep thinking them going to the Super Bowl would be a bad thing. It would be a bad thing for me because I got to wear, I agree that I would wear the Cowboys stuff because I don't believe for one second they're going to the Super Bowl. But I don't think anything would make me feel better than the Dallas Cowboys to get to the Super Bowl especially if it's against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and then to be on the verge of victory and something catastrophic happens to blow a yeah, Super Bowl championship, that would be heaven. I mean, to see you on the, on the precipice of the Dallas Cowboys capturing a championship only to be rendered miserable for the whole offseason because the they were Cowboys. so close, but then they lost it. I don't know if any any level of ecstasy could usurp that feeling. I not, Well, there are things... But you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying to you that most things would not usurp that. That would be beautiful to watch the Cowboys so close you, you know and, then really plummet, beautiful? and then plummet. I know we got to go. But last quick point. Do you remember the last time Dallas and Pittsburgh played in a Super Bowl? Were you too young to oh, remember? No, no, no. Neil O'Donnell. Neil O'Donnell. Don't get me started. Larry Brown. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. MVP of the game. Don't get me started. That was an that. accident I mean, waiting to happen. Right, the you're right, you're Pittsburgh right. Steelers. And that's, why, and that's why Neil O'Donnell isn't allowed back in Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's right. They got barricades keeping them out of the Steel City. It's a travesty. I know whose jersey I'm going to wear. Byron Jones. Husky. Oh, that would yeah, be a good it'll one. It'll work well.